I don't see how it cannot impact you. It's overwhelming in, in the best way, and it's, it's mind-blowing. I've also had people just almost move to tears just from seeing so many stars that they have never experienced before. Why should they come and see the dark skies? To connect, to connect with uh, something larger than themselves. I've had people from New York City come out, they see these stars, the stars alone blow them away. And then they look through a telescope and they see the rings of Saturn. When they get out here with those dark skies above and the mountains below, yeah, it changes people. This is a West Texas story about a vast expanse of wilderness so pristine, the sky rates a one on the portal scale. These are the dark skies of Big Bend. The, the attributes of Marathon were uh, so remote, which is surrounded by mountains, which protects us from any kind of light intrusion from the surrounding communities and towns. So it really um, contributes to the, you know, these darker skies. I'm Daniel Self, and I'm the owner and manager of the Marathon Motel and RV Park here in Marathon, Texas. Coming out here to uh, an area like this, it's so big and so vast that it's humbling and yet inspiring. It makes us very unique out of everyone in Texas. It's such a large area of dark sky. My name is Madison Schiller, and I am the public relations assistant for Visit Big Bend. People coming out here seeing the dark skies for the first time is, is a really great thing to see and it makes it really great that we can give that opportunity to people and also have the opportunity to expand that and, and make it a permanent fixture in our area. You know, there's people 45, 50 years old that tell me I've never really seen the night sky until I came out here. My name's Grady Price Blunt and I'm the owner of Big Bend Observatory. People used to come out here for the mountains and the rugged scenery and whatnot, and we've just, in the last five years, we get people to come out here just for the dark skies. And people are willing to drive 500 miles to be able to see the sky. It makes them realize that there's been a big chunk of their life that they've been missing out on. Big Bend remains one of the few regions committed to protecting the dark skies. The places you can go to see a naturally dark nighttime sky are rapidly shrinking, uh, becoming fewer and farther between, getting very hard to find. My name is Bill Wren. I'm the Dark Skies Coordinator at McDonald Observatory. It's a satellite campus of the University of Texas at Austin. How do you describe a dark nighttime sky to somebody? Awe, wonder, uh, context. A lot of people will say that it makes them feel small when they see a, a star-filled sky. And I understand that. And um, it also makes me feel connected to something really big. Some people have never seen a sky this dark in their life. They're from a city and you know, have never had this experience. Some people see it all the time and they still love it. I'm Annie Gilliland, an interpretive park ranger here in Big Bend National Park. We got the first designation in 2011, uh, being International Dark Sky Park, and now we just have to keep it up. Anytime you build anything new or like rehab anything, the, all of the lighting will be dark sky friendly. So it will be pointing down, not blotting out your view of the sky. Um, it turns out that having a beautiful natural dark night is really important for the wildlife in a park. It's also really important for telling the stories of people that were here before us. For thousands of years, they could look up and see a sky full of stars. We want to keep their stories alive. We need to see that.
For more information, go to visitbigbend.com.